So now I'm picking with some of uh, the lingam. You can see here are the bush. Here they are, lingam. These ones are very good, right? They should be like very dark red color. But they are not not very sweet. It tastes a little bit like cranberry. I, I think the name in English is like lingonberry. But I'm not really sure. So but I'll put it up here. The name in English. So this is very common to pick in Sweden. Because you can make very tasty yam of it. I know. Add some sugar. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> so good. So good. Yeah. Here I have some. Directly from the forest. <sighs> Pure nutrition. For active body, for human, wanna live life. Let's, go. Let's get some more. See you later. So, how do you pick lingonberries? You get one of these, the picker. You get a bucket, and you get yourself some motivation. Then you find a forest in northern of Sweden, or like Norway, or. Finland, like in the middle of Sweden is good, so yeah, and then you start pick, you grab it like this, yeah. you go like this, and then the picker will pick out the berries and leave the shit everywhere it should be, but it's very hard to pick with one hand because I can't like, like this, that's it. Here you can see how it's good. Really nice. So the lingonberries thrive in uh, areas where it's not too dry and not too too swampy. So you can find them with the blueberries, but they're not gonna thrive at the same area as the blueberries. But they but they can still be there. You know. Here we have some beautiful Swedish mushrooms. This is uh, like, this one is very beautiful. It's a typical Kali one, Swedish mushroom. I believe it can be found anywhere else also, but very common in Sweden, especially this year. You can see it's uh, light brown on the top. And I have like this, uh, the spores, it's like yellow, green. They go to white, white, yellow and green. So this one is a little bit older, this one is quite young. This one is younger, so it's quite white at the spores. And I have like this white brown stem with like a white net. Very beautiful, very tasty mushroom. And this one is like a similar one, but I don't really know what it is yet. I tasted it a little bit. It wasn't bitter, so I don't think it's toxic <laughs> but and it smells the same like the Kali one so as so I suspect it's eatable but I'm gonna check up it in the book so yeah nice this is what I scavenged today around here really good really nice now I'm gonna go for some uh, blueberries and uh, lingon see you later